Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can figure out whether oxidation or reduction is occurring during displacement reactions. When we talk about displacement reactions and oxidation and reduction, we need to be looking at what's happening in terms of electrons. And the best way to do that is to be able to write the ionic equation and from that the half equations. So I'll go through very quickly here how to write the ionic equations, but if you want more help, there's a link in the top right hand side of the video. Don't proceed any further if you're not sure what an ionic equation is. So here I've got copper sulfate reacting with iron to make iron sulfate and copper. I've got the symbol equation down below, CuSO4 plus Fe goes to FeSO4 plus Cu. So what I need to do is write out the ions. So I know I've got SO4 2 minus, therefore I've got to have Cu 2 plus because the charges should balance. Iron is a solid, therefore it stays as a solid. When it becomes aqueous, goes to FeSO4, it then changes into an iron, so it becomes Fe2+. Again, we know that because I've got my SO4 2- iron. And now copper's become a solid, so I don't put a charge on that. The next thing I need to do is remove the things that are the same on both sides, which in this case is my sulfate SO4 2- ions. I can then rewrite it without those ones in, so I start off with Cu2+, I add Fe, which is my solid, and I go to Fe2 plus and end up with Cu, which is my solid. And that is my ionic equation. So how can you use this to find out if something's been oxidized or reduced? If you remember the phrase that I told you, oil rig, oxidation is loss of electrons, reduction is gain. So what we need to do is write the half equations. So if I start off with copper, I'm starting off with Cu2 plus and I'm ending up with Cu. So I can write that into my half equation up here. So Cu2 plus arrow Cu. The next thing you've got to do is figure out how I got to that. So I've started off with an iron, I've gone back towards my metal, I've got to add two electrons in. So it's Cu2 plus plus 2e minus goes to Cu. Iron, I'm starting off with Fe and I'm going to Fe2 plus. How am I doing that? How can I take a metal and turn it into an iron? I take two electrons away, so I put plus 2e minus on the right hand side. And now I look at my oil rig. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. So my Cu2 plus, I'm adding two electrons on, they're gained, therefore it is reduction. My iron, I'm going from Fe to Fe2 plus, it's losing electrons, therefore it has been oxidized. And that really is the gist of it. So you just need to be able to write the half equations. Again, if you're not sure, have a look back on my previous videos on half equations and they'll help you out. Okay, let's have a look at a few questions then. So I've got a question here that says, zinc is a metal that is more reactive than iron. When it's added to a solution of iron sulfate, a displacement reaction is seen. You've got the symbol equation, Zn, zinc, which is a solid, reacts with FeSO4, aqueous, dissolved in solution, and it forms ZnSO4, aqueous and Fe. So the first question is write the ionic equation for the following reaction between iron, sulfate and zinc. So to do this, remember your sulfate is SO4 2 minus. If it's SO4 2 minus, then iron and zinc have both got to be 2 plus. Use that to do the ionic equation. Again, if you're not sure how to do ionic equations, on the top right hand corner is a link to be able to do it. Go there now. Question two, write half equations to show the changes to both zinc and iron in the reaction. So talk about the electrons. Zinc is going from Zn to Zn2+. How is it gonna do that? Same with iron going from Fe2 plus to Fe. Do the same for both. And then finally, question three, explain in terms of electrons where oxidation and reduction are occurring in the reaction. So I would recommend using the half equations to help you there. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So, if we start off with the zinc then. Now, this is a solid, so you just put that in as it is. And then let's have a look at how we can work out iron sulfate. So as I've already told you, a sulfate iron is SO4 2 minus. If it's SO4 2 minus and you've only got one iron, that has got to be the exact opposite charge of it. So if you've got two minus, iron has got to be two plus. 
and it's the same on the right hand side so I'm forming iron solid and I'm going to end up with my SO4 minus, SO4 2 minus and I'm going to get zinc. Zinc is now aqueous so it's an iron, it's got to be 2 plus. Once I've done that the next thing is to remove the ones that are the same. So in this case that's my sulfate on both sides. Zinc has changed from Zn to Zn2 plus, Fe2 plus has changed to Fe Therefore, I can't get rid of those. It's only the ones that have actually changed, leaving me with this, which is my ionic equation. You get one mark for the left-hand side and one mark for the right-hand side. Using that for question two, then, you have to write the half equations. So it says, write the half equations to show the changes for both zinc and iron. So if we start off, so if we start off with zinc, we know from my ionic equation here, I'm going from Zn to Zn2+. Plus. The question is, how is that going to happen? You should know that cations get to become cations by losing electrons, therefore I'm going to be putting them on the right hand side. How many is it lost? Two. So we get 2e minus. So you get one mark for Zn goes to Zn2 plus plus e minus and one mark for having the balanced number of electrons. If we go on to iron, I'm starting off with Fe2 plus and I'm ending up with my Fe solid. How do I do that? How do I get from a cation back to the metal? I give it electrons. So I've given two electrons back. And again, one mark for Fe2 plus, plus E minus goes to Fe, and the second mark for your balancing. So following on again from that, question three, explain in terms of electrons where oxidation and reduction are occurring. Zinc has gone to Zn2 plus by losing electrons. So you say zinc has lost electrons. Remember, oil rig, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain, so zinc has been oxidized because it's lost electrons. Iron is the opposite. It has gained electrons, and therefore it has been reduced. That brings this video to an end. There is a review question for you, which says, for the following displacement reaction, explain where oxidation and reduction is occurring, and you should draw the half equations to help you. You should now be able to work out the charge of Fe and Cu based on what we've just been through. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.